Hello, hello. Is this working? I'm here, but I need to put the right stream on. Okay, I put the right stream on. That's good. Okay. Hi, hello Callum, hey Alex, hey David, hey Robbie, hey Caprice, hey Aztec, hey Fabian, Jack Daw, I am a very lucky girl, a very, very lucky girl. Uh, the unboxing is about 60% complete, says Historica Jimaldus. Um, hey, hello, welcome to... Let's play City of Thieves, part five. Maybe look at some unboxing stuff. Also, it's my birthday stream. So yes, very emotional birthday. Um, when is anything I do unemotional? Never, for we lead with emotion. Um, so yes, it is a birthday stream. So we're gonna celebrate me surviving another year on this orbiting mass hurtling around the sun in the Terra solar system. I'm just moving shit around. So here we go. This is the box. This is the box that we saw on screen with our biter Ian. Now we do have a slight problem in that historical, uh, Historic tour Jim Aldous is insisting that Ian be a part of this. Ian is too busy. So I think what's going to happen is we're going to have to plan a stream, <clears throat> a special unboxing stream. And it will depend very much on whether Ian is free. I literally messaged Ian this evening saying, hey, are you free at 8.30 to come on live stream? And I got two blue ticks and no reply which generally, <laughs> in the rules of lifing, you don't retext. Um, yes, so I'm gonna try a little uh, experiment here. Okay, let's have a look and see if this works. So here we have, da, 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 this is the box. So I'm gonna see if I can show you the box. It's very tricky because the iPhone wants to turn one way. So first we have this beautiful seal, J for Historitor Gemaldus, Nalwood Chest, Origin, Tanith Magna, Civitist First District, created soon after the victory at Balhalt. Certified, untainted, non-heretical. Now I think this might be a clue, 4150, 764.m41 Munitorum Servitor RN Beta 6 Astra Militarum Bulk Transport Divine Penance and again some really lovely seals here so these are little upside down skulls which is amazing and then here we have it's witnessed by and it's recertified, another uh, number here, Adap Adeptus Administratum Scribe Janus Tancred. We've met Tancred. Oh, thanks for the date. Yes, it is a date, Robbie, but remember, it's also a puzzle box. So is a date ever just a date? Witnessed by Adeptus Ministorum Log Logistorarus, Hannah Greven, received by our Jim. Our Jim. Logus Historica Verita. I'm not sure what that means. So, so this is me. This is my extremely messy streaming setup. You can see I've been back on the old uh, favorite. <laughs> How weird is that? That's gonna make me dizzy, I shouldn't do that. But the other thing I wanted to show you all. So, this is the puzzle board that Jim has created. So the first clue is, first letter of the name of the 15th Legion's Primarch. So who is the 15th Legion? Can anybody answer that in the chat? Not you, Jim. The first letter of the name in the 15th Legion's Primarch. 
who is the 15th legion? Anybody know? Not I. Minus second letter of the type of weapon held in this picked. And then there's a little arrow and we have to put that in there. But we have to figure out what it is. You could have a crack at that puzzle board without Ian. That's what I was thinking, Jim, but no one in the chat knows who the 15th Legion is. Plus the second letter of the name of Sanguinius Legion. Plus the number of Ferris Legion. Plus the symbol of the War Master. Okay, so the 15th Legion is a thousand suns. So Magnus. So the first letter of the name of the Thousand Sons Primarch is Magnus. So I can write that down. Oops, let me pop this up. <sighs> Got a little heart shape here. So the first letter is M. And then it says minus the second letter of the type of weapon held in this pict. Okay, so it's Roman numerals. What is M in Roman numerals, Callum? We don't know what the weapon is in the Pict, but we know there's another thing there. Let's see if Mira can complete the magnet puzzle. I don't think I'll be able to, and I don't know that many people will tune into this stream. We might be losing, like this is my birthday stream. I don't want it to be to like six of us. <laughs> we do need to do some fighting fantasy as is advertised. So, okay, how am I gonna do this? Let me, is that gonna work? Oh Lord, oh Lordy Lordy. I'll pop this here, will that stay? Double mirror, double mirror, double mirror all the way. Okay, so we've got a bunch of pictures here. different bad, different people. So Jim has said, look at the little magnets in the bags. So does anybody know who this is? Hang on. Who's that guy? He's in blue. That's not Gilliman, is it? I don't know. Then we have this guy. He's got a wolf on him. So is that Horace? I don't know. The chat's gone very quiet now, hasn't it? It's gone very quiet. This is, this is the horrible Mortarian, I think, is it? Because he has like a skull face. Okay, so so we're saying, who are we saying this guy is? We're saying this is Night Lords. Okay, let's see if we've got them on here. Oh, I have got a... I've got a little magnet here saying Conrad, Conrad Kurz. So I think these two match. That's bad. Um, I think these two match, but so we'll do this. Oh, this is exciting, everybody. So we now have Oh, can I get this correct? Comrade Cruz is a Night Lord. Hooray! Oh, this is fun! Okay, so then this guy is Horus. So Horus is not Space Wolves. Sons of Horus, right? That would go here. Okay. And... Okay, and then Mortarian was third. No, that, that's not, 
Where did Mortarian go? I don't know who that guy is. Okay. So this is Mortarian. Who are Mortarian? Who's Mortarian's army again? No, no, not Light Lords. Not Blood Angels, not Iron Hands. This is terrible. They're not World Eaters, Mortarian, are they? Who is Mortarian's? Oh. Magnus is a thousand sons. Where's Magnus? Is this Magnus? He looks like he has a moustache. Okay, so Mortar 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 Mortarian is Death Guard. No, oh, how could I forget that? Where is Death Guard? If I knew the numbers of these legions, I bet it would be easier. Where is Death Guard? Here is Death Guard. Yay! Okay. So this is uh, Magnus. So he, Magnus goes here. So we have Thousand Sons and that's Magnus. This is such a cool way to learn who the Primarchs are. I love it. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's Roboto Grilliman. This has got to be our Ultramarine. So he goes here. Ultramarines. Okay, who's this dude? He's very gold. Oh, look at the little hearts I'm getting. Who's this? Golden boy, white hair. Put him to one side. And then... <laughs> well done with pronunciations. Who's this ch chappy? Now that there's a bit of damage to this, so he looks very Viking. Put him to one side, no clue. Oh, David's ahead of us. Hang on, David. I'm going to do 50 things at once. David, hold that clue in your head, please. Mortarians, look, I'm going to try and do the bloody... Look at this mess. I don't know where my pen is. Okay. Okay, so David is saying... I'm just going to pop this round this way because this is getting confusing. Oh, I can't do two things at once. There's so many Primarchs. Okay, so Mortarian's weapon is the scythe. So it's going to be M minus C. So that's for the overall puzzle that's going on. Meanwhile, I'm still kind of trying to do uh, the matching, the stuff. So someone has said... Gold is dawn of the Imperial Fists. And we met him in Flight of the Eisenstein. Rogel Dawn, Imperial Fists. So let's pop that on our chart. I'm very sorry if this is making any of you seasick. <laughs> Imperial Fists. So we're going to go here. And put... Rogel Dawn. I actually have a little bag of names here. So let's get this out here. Okay. So, Robute Guillemont is here. Yay! Corvus, we haven't got to yet. Horace Lupercal, we have here. Um, someone has said that this is Russ of the Space Wolves. So this can go here. And his name is Lehman Russ. So that's helpful. Very good. Look, we're getting somewhere. We're filling up the Primark chart. 
uh, Dawn Yellow Imperial Fist. We've got all the labels are color coded to the Legion's armor. Such a cool design board. David says it's bringing back memories of sticker books from my childhood. It's amazing, isn't it? Okay, so this is someone with blue armor with red detailing. So I'm going to try and cheat and look and see if there's another blue one. Could that be Alpha Legion? Um, Robbie says, I cannot praise you enough for this, Jim. It's incredible. Um, is that correct, Alpha Legion? We'll find out, I guess. Someone will tell me. Yay, it is Alpharius. Someone's written. <laughs> Blue with the spear is Alpharius. No, really, amazing. Uh, David wrote, Alpharius, or is it Omegan? Alpharius, I think, says Robbie. Or Omegan, <laughs> says Aztec Jaguar. So, uh, have we got his name here anywhere? Rogal Dawn is... Someone said Rogal Dawn's Imperial Fist, so I know that goes there. Um... Where is Mortarian of the Death Guard? So put his name here. Magnus the Red, I can see. And he is very red, so that's his name there. Magnus the Red. See, now I can just refer to this when I'm doing stuff with Ian. It's so cool. Have I got any other names I know? Fulgrim, I know, is Emperor's Children. So I can put Fulgrim's name here. Yay. Dark Angels, we know is Lionel Johnson. Hello, is it me you're looking for? So I can put him there. Ferris Manus is the Iron Hands. So he goes here, Ferris Manus. Um, here's Alpharius's name. Uh, Amazing. Yay. Um, I wonder how many people are tuning in for fighting fantasy and they're like, what the fuck? Oh no, sorry, not PG-13. What the hell is going on? Um, Perturubo. I always get Perturubo and Rubote Grilliman mixed up. Sanguinius is Blood Angels. I know that. So let's put that here. Yay, thank you for noticing Aztec. I was proud of myself too. Um, uh, let's see if I know any others. I'm nervous to do it. I feel like I should know this one, but I don't. Okay, let's look at, go back to looking at pictures. So this... You're one. You're allowed one f bomb in PG thirteen. Says. Uh, okay, who is this guy? I think Ian would do this in two seconds flat. Perty is Iron Warriors. Let's put him in Iron Warriors then. Where's Iron Warriors? Perutubo is Iron Warriors. And anybody recognizing this dude? I do not, so I'm going to go on to the next one. Who's this? That's a big eagle. And he's all in grey. That... Philip, this is Pertubo or the one before? But he, it does look very iron, so I'm thinking that's an iron, warring, iron warrior. Okay, gold and silver preacher is Lorgar of the word bearers. Yuck. Word bearers. Okay. Lorgar Aurelian. Ian would need to be blindfold to make it fair. I agree, Aztec. 
Okay. Oh, I should have known that. Raven guard. And of course, ravens are Corvus. So Fulgrim, I know. Angron is... I should know this too. I don't know why I don't know that immediately. Vulcan is Salamander. Someone helpfully said in the screen, in the stream. Okay, so let's look. So this chap has an owl or something. I don't know what this little creature is, but I think it's cute. And he's got this uh, red uh, thing on his head. Don't know who he is. I have a feeling this person is based after Genghis Khan. So gold with the wall paint is Angry Ron, Angron. Uh, I'm having a mental block. Who? Angron is world eaters. Of course, how could I forget Istvan and all that shenanigans? Let's put his name there. Angron. That's a skull, I think. Oh. That would make more sense if it's a skull. I thought it was an owl, like, I'm Angron. <laughs> okay, so this has got to be Khan. Uh, I don't know which chapter he is friends with. Who's this? Guy with beard is Khan of the White Scars. Amazing. So here's the White Scars. So I can put his name here. Yay! Um, who's this ch chappy? He looks also angry. If I was to guess, I'd say Ferris Manus, but you can't see his hands, so I don't know. I feel like this one is easy. This, or is it? Is that a trick? These are the ones we're left with. Heavy grey armour is Pertubo. Where's that? Ah, I already put this guy as Pertubo. So... Pertubo is the Terminator guy. I think you have Corex where Perty should be. Okay, so we'll put him here. How do you know that he is Corex and he's per Perturbo? What's the diff? Okay, so we've got Iron, Iron Warriors, Perturbo here. And then down here, we've now moved this guy to Corvus Corex. Oh, Jetpack. Hi, Neil. Welcome to our Primark puzzle, which we nearly completed, we hope. Um, this has got to be Fulgrim, even though I thought he would be way more purple than this. That is Fulgrim. Corvix has a raven on his chest. Ah, oh, I thought it was an eagle, that's why. And a Jetpack. So he'll fly. This is so fun. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so Sanguin Sanguinius. Surely he's got to be red. Ferris Manus. Oh, Neil, thank you. Congratulations. Clegatron, Ruskinus, Alan Redmond, David Cook and David Wharton. Congratulations on your memberships. Welcome to the channel and the chat. Thank you so much. It is the birthday stream, so please go mad with super thanks. Please like and subscribe. It would be amazing if I could get to 7,000 subscribers on my birthday weekend. 
So I am thinking this, could this be Ferris Manus just because his hands are in the shot? Um, pop him here. Okay, yay. Aye, that's Ferris. He of the singer, silver finger, fingles. <laughs> silver fingers, silver fingers. Okay, now we have Lionel Johnson. I think this looks like a Lionel. Hello, is it me you're looking for? And Sanguinius has angel wings. I feel like Sanguinius turned up in a Bequin or a, a what was some book I was reading. So yay. So this is our, hang on, put this here. Oof. So here is our complete. Oh, hang on. Here is our completed Primark board. Amazing. So thank you everybody for helping me complete the board. So now let's get into our quiz. So without further ado, so first letter of the name of the 15th Legion's Primarch. Well, the 15th Legion's is Mortarian, so we put down M for that. The second clue says, yes, the second Bequin novel, they make reference to Sanguinis in the underground ruins they travel through to find the angel. I knew I'd read it in Bequin. Second letter, so it's M minus the second letter of the type of weapon held in this pick which is Mortarian's scythe. So that is going to be a C, which is Roman numerals, we think, plus the letter of the name of Sanguinius's legion. So Sanguinius's legion is blood angels, which is L. So, Okay, plus the number of Ferris's legion. So Ferris's legion is 10. So plus 10. Plus the symbol of the war master. Hmm. What is the symbol of the war master? Who is the War Master? Is the War Master Horus? Um, I'm stuck. Uh, I'm stuck, but what we could do is I could Google up. Oh, someone in the chat has done this. So 1,000 take away 100 equals 900 plus 50 equals 950 plus 10 equals 960 plus 1 equals 961. So that's our result, everybody. So 961. I feel like we need a four. I feel like we need a four digit code. So also in the box, historic Jim included this and it says unroll for help. Can anyone tell me if anyone's actually watching this stream or is it just us? Is it just the neighborhood uh, members? Is it just the usual gang? We got like 12 people watching the stream. So we've got a nice chain, which I will wear. Okay. Oh, sorry, people. I'm just going to have to take this call. Can I take it on my phone? I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I can take this phone call. Oh, why is life so tricky? Tricky, tricky, tricky. 
Um, do I have another phone I could use? That's an interesting question. Um, so 961 is what we came up with. Let me just quickly see if I can find a phone, guys. Oh. Uh, talk amongst yourselves, people. Um, sorry about this, everybody. Let's pop this on here. Hello, hi everybody, Somicron, what's been happening? Let's show Somicron what has been happening. Together, we filled in this entire Primark board. It was like a game. And then we had to work out all these clues. And then, it says there's 25 on my thingy. Everybody, please, can you like this stream? So then we worked there, we then worked out it was 961. So this was marked do not use unless stuck. Heresy. <laughs> I think we're allowed to use it. Calling on the warp for aid. Unroll more for solving solution to gold seal puzzle. Oh, so you have to be really careful because there's lots of solutions on there. Okay. The letter has a clue to help with the gold seal puzzle. Complete each sum in order. Okay, so that's 961. I love June too. What did you think, Neil? Uh, gold seal puzzle. So we've basically, we've completed this puzzle. And it's given us 961. So, so we also have a lock here. And it says, oh God, this is so annoying. My bloody phone. Hang on, let me see if I can. Nope. My phone's just going to phone. It's going to do what the fuck it wants. Not going to listen to me. Oh. So, like it literally won't let me turn it upside down. Ah, oh, okay, I'm just gonna pull this off. How am I gonna show you this? Stupid technology. Okay, so this says, Signata Virtue Omnisire. The gold seal in itself might be a clue, says Jim. Well, the gold seal's got a... The gold seal has a J on it. So, let's try and put 961 on here. Hang on. Is it going to let me open it or no? It's going to be so disappointing if it doesn't work, isn't it? No. Nine six one has not worked. Is there another gold seal anywhere? Let's have a look. Here's the letter. The original letter. So let's go and look for another box. So these are all the books that you've seen. So 
back to zone. There's some very cool Warhammer games. More books. Here is another box. But this has more. This has four. And I don't know if this is the right one. I can't see anything else. It's been spray painted silver, which is very cute. found it okay so oh I'm so excited you guys it says to open okay <laughs> it's impossible to hold this and make it work let's see silence just silence while I'm doing this Thank God I got a manicure, eh? My nails look great today. Okay, 961. Hang on, I'm gonna... Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! I feel like we need a slow-mo of that. Yay, the lock is open. We have triumphed. So let's open what's in the box. Oh, I'm scared. Is it a slidey box? Let me put this back up here. Oh, shit. Oh, that is so destroyed. I wish I could just do this for a living. <laughs> go back to we can all see at the same time oh okay wow okay so we've got some minis one two oh that's a big one three four minis We've got this Lasgun Lumen attachment used by the 9th Company Caden Guardsman during the Indomitus Crusade. Oh, it doesn't work. Let's see. There's more magnets inside. Ah! Let's see if I can get this to work. If I'm going to need this for a clue, that's going to do my head in if it doesn't work. Nope, not working. Gosh. Okay, well, I suppose I can go on another quest in my flat to try and find batteries for this. You know, I'm going to be honest, guys. I was really hoping it's from my birthday stream. We would do some fighting fantasy and I'd make a lot of money out of super thanks and birthday shenanigans. And I think we've reduced our viewership to like five people. I was gonna try and fatten that Titan fund. Needs to be blessed first. Well, hopefully we, we may not need this immediately. Let's have a look. Let me just say, look at the pretty, the pretty purple that the inside's been painted as well. So we've got some more name cards. And then it looks like another puzzle. And, 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 and. Oh my God, you guys. 
I was there the day Horace slew the emperor with skulls on top. <laughs> thank you somicron <laughs> birthday fund thank you so much that's so wonderful <laughs> thank you so so much so oh shit i've just i've just shut the bloody skulls off <laughs> my my poor little skulls sorry back in the day when we had um uh, back in the day when I used to have a Zippo, I never smoked actually, I just <laughs> I just thought it was very cool. Um, so yeah, that's that's not happening. I've managed to just destroy this, the beautiful skulls on my Zippo. So thank you so much. I'll have to get some lighter fluid. <laughs> it's funny you should say that. I promise I won't burn the flat down first of all. I'll just destroy the lighter. But I did buy myself some extra long uh, candles, um, some extra long matches recently. Uh, yeah, because I have this extra long candle that I light, hang on. So here's a real tour. So this is my lucky candle. Hang on, oof. I definitely don't want to set fire to the flat. That's why I have such a Oh shit, I just blew the fuck the flipping match out. Oh no, I'm swearing so much tonight, I don't like it. Okay, can you believe we've done half an hour of this stream already? Okay, so you're only meant to blow the bloody skulls off. Okay, look at that. Fire, do do do, I need you to burn. Okay, so this is my lucky candle. It was a rainbow. Woo, Alex, thank you so much. Appreciate, thank you. Yay, birthday fun. Thank you so much. Oh, it's saying sign in. Why is it saying sign in? Oh, anyway. Um, so this is a good luck candle and it basically helps you lucky in love, your wish will come true, prosperity, health. So we will light that candle tonight. Thank you so much. Um, it's asking me to log in again to YouTube so I can get into the chat. That's annoying, isn't it? And will it know my password? Or am I gonna have to enter the password? Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Only five swears in half an hour. Thank you, Aleph. Thank you so much, so generous. Thank you so much, Alex. Amazing, thank you so much. Woo 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 woo! Thank you. I hope you didn't get robbed by an elf after buying those can candles. Lol, very funny. Oh, what is my bloody YouTube password? Oh, why is streaming so... We're having such a fun stream and I get... Honestly... Gmail, can I please just find my password? <laughs> Oh, Christ on a bike. It's impossible to look up your Gmail passwords because your Gmail password is the password for everything. Jesus. Okay, all right, so that's not gonna work. Okay, so how am I gonna look at the chat now? Flippin' neck. We'll go do it the old fashioned way. No, will we? Okay, we're back in the chat. Okay, so let's continue because this is a lot of stuff to get through. So we have the Zippo. We have the torch. Uh, we have another puzzle it looks like. Because we have this and we have this. But before we get into the next puzzle, let us look at the minis. And we, this is what we definitely need Ian for. So firstly, there's this guy. 
who I have no idea who this is. David Walton says, wouldn't be a mirror stream without tech gremlins. I know, but I freaking hate it. Like, I just want to enjoy myself with you lot. And I have to be here like a blooming pariah. Not being able to do all the things, the lovely things, because I'm trying to sort my bloody tech out. My blooming tech. Okay, I'm going to try and get that password back because it would be really useful if I could see what's going on in the chat. So let me look at my password manager. Uh, uh, um. You'd think that Gmail would just come up. Google, yay, okay. What is my freaking password, Google? Please let me know. What could it be? And this is dead air. This is when we lose all those people that we may have had who might love Warhammer. Uh, they might love Warhammer games. Will that work? Two-step verification? Christ. Ugh. Open the YouTube app and... T this is now going to ruin this phone working. Pause. Hey, let's see. YouTube. Sorry. Sorry about this, everybody. Just sorting out my authentication. Yes, it's me. Okay, so can we get this to work again? Yes, amazing, okay. So we are green, green, green to go. We have our camera back working. I'll just make sure that's charging. Is everybody still with us? Is everybody still here? Does anybody remember laughter? Can we get this to work again? Ugh, no. Christ, oh, this is so distressing. I just wanna have my chat in my... Yes, I think we've done it, yay! I think we've done it, we've got the chat back. Thank you. Uh, tech priest, cybernetic, Neil Adams, thank you so much. A very happy Moomin unicorn birthday. Thank you so much. Darthus, thank you. Alif, thank you so much. Alex, thank you so much. Robbie, thank you so much. Okay, so we've got a bunch of minis, but let's open this letter. I'm terrified of losing little bits as well. Okay, the next puzzle says, this poem was included in Carcassi's pamphlet, The Truth is All We Have. This original handwritten page was recovered from the, vital, from the vengeful spirit by Mercedes Ollerton. Oh, so good. And look, there's three little dots here on a magnetic strip. Great Titans of Legend, deeds lost to the black sands of time. Hyperion, Themis, Cronus, Phoebe, names of legend untarnished by the ages. Now new Titans have been forged under the hand of the Emperor. The lid of Pandora's box flung open. Marines Ultra, wo Wolves of Luna, Violet Pink, Violent Children, but these new gods are false gods. As aloof and uncaring as those ancient deities of light, but as fallible as men when we expose the bottom of their beating hearts, the red fist in our chests. Oh, Aztec, the chat never went anywhere. We just waited for the priest, pre tech priestess to learn. So this is a black seal. Okay. So this was the gold seal box. Um, so that was that one. Which is the black seal box? Um, so that's the red seal box, the big one. I don't see any black seals on this, but I don't really understand the clue in that thing anyway. This is the red sealed letter. Could this be a red seal clue? 
Okay, so a little bit lost. Now there was a bag of Those names are all moons of Saturn as well as mythological figures. So in this box, I found all these. Oh, it says things like bionics, berserkers, by the book. Implacable Tough, Space Wizards. So I think I'm meant to label my Primark chart, maybe? Stealth will obviously be um, Alpharius's Little People, Espionage. So yeah, I don't know what all those are for. I do think I'm a bit stuck. But I don't know if we should continue. Traits associated with legions, e.g. berserkers are W-E, bionics are I-H, etc. Oh, I didn't know that. They are the Primark, they are the Primark's U unique U USPs. Okay. Well, I think I've got a bad feeling this might be needed to reveal more clues. And I don't know if Historicus Jim is still in the chat. And I don't know if I've got any batteries. <sighs> Should we go and see if we've got any batteries? Um, Jim, are you in the mix? Where are you, Jim? Okay, let's go see if there are any batteries anywhere. We can't do it without this, we're trying to stall. The draw of many things. I don't remember having any batteries here. But if I did, they would be in the drawer. Um, okay, so, yeah, that's disappointing. You need to put your red passport somewhere safe. Oh, that's an old passport. Um, so, maybe it got turned on during transport. It was fresh when I sent it. Do I need the lighter, Jim? Because <laughs> I've fucked that. Hmm. <laughs> Battery would be useful. What do I have that takes three AA batteries? Is there a little piece of plastic in the torch? There is not. There is not. I could try the thing where you pull them out and shake them a bit. Let's try that. This is technologically not. Not the one. I used to have a UV torch. A billion years ago. No. T 
TV remotes will have AA. Let's have a look. Hang on. found some remotes I haven't used this one in about a billion years and the batteries look like this very corroded and there are just two in here and I use this one quite a lot so I'll be pissed off if this stops working um... I think I think the thing to do is stop now and do a little bit of fighting fantasy and continue this another day because it's all been incredibly exciting but I don't want to rush through it but let's have a little look at the minis that came with it and let's make sure everything goes back in the correct boxes as well so that came from here. I shall buy some batteries tomorrow, put the poem back in. Um, I'm amazed Jim's remembered all this as well, to be fair. So, so this is next time we, we do this stream together, we'll pop all the uh, traits of each of the Primarchs because we've now got those options to do that. So I will save these to show to Ian. Oh, oh no, his arm came off. I didn't do that. Show us the minis. Show me the minis. We will show you the minis. Okay, so this I'm just fixing this guy. He's got a very heavy arm. That's why that fell off. Christ. That's this guy. I wonder if we've read a book about this guy. That's little this little fella. Um, poor little arm. And what is this? Oh, is this princess? It's a snotlin. This is so cute. Look at that. Gorgeous. <laughs> Show me the minis. Very cute. Very cute. Um, and that... This is the problem with a 20k box. I think they've come off their little base. And then we've got, who's this guy? Oh, he looks scary. And I think this might come from him as well. Yay, little squig. Rot on a squig. That's what we all need. This is a very cool customer. 30 seconds. Look at that. Cute. I have no idea what this is. And this is why we need Ian to join us. Some super glue and some batteries. That's what I will spend my birthday money on. So thank you so much. Everybody that's made those amazing, amazing donations. Thank you, Neil. Thank you, Aleph. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Somicron. Thank you uh, so much as well, Robbie, for the last chat. So nice of you all. And we know what we're spending our money on. And, ooh, look at this guy. What the hell is he? 
Da, da, da. Look at that. Who's this fella? He's massive. Compared to the other minis, I'll just give you... Comparison. The classic space elf avatar. That's a space elf. Space elf. Look at the runes on the sword. Avatar of Cain. Ah, yes. That makes some sense to me. Well, there you go. So you've got some nice little minis. Only a little bit damaged. But yeah, so I'm sure I will have to try and take them around to Ian's. I have to say the next time I go to Ian's house, we are discussing four books in one day. Battle of the Abyss, Valda, Titanicus, and another short story one by Graham McNeil. So we are gonna be pushed for time. And unboxing is quite low on Ian's priority list with all his lore videos. So we'll have to see how available Ian can be to help us look at the minis. Um, Caprice, fun fact, the original lead elder, the original lead avatar is about normal Eldar height. They've grown a little through the additions. Interesting. Neil, that's the chap Fulgrim for at the end of the novel. Ah, yes, on the, in the Eldar um, planet. I think I remember that. I was assuming that. It wasn't at the end of the book, was it? It was when they were looking at the elf planets and leaving them untouched. They weren't destroying them as they were told to. Okay, I think Ian will be impressed. We all did part of the puzzle. I do too. I think I should probably try and clip that part of the live and make it into a video in its own right. I'm not sure how to do that, but I'll try it. Hi, Michael. Nice to see you. So I know it's late. Is anyone up for playing some fighting fantasy? How are people feeling about this? What do we think? Let me know. What are you thinking? Shall we resume? Let's have a look. Okay. The Serpent Queen is delighted with the silver gift. Let's go to Port Black Sand. I don't want the birthday stream to end. We will end at 10 this evening. But what a lark, so much fun we've all had. I've got two cups of tea, a yellow and a blue. And um, I feel triumphant. I think we did really well. And we've still got our clue if we require it. So there's a lot of tidying up to do, but that always happens after a birthday. So when the space elves murder Shag Slanesh into existence, oh God, she ate all the elf gods, but Cain got shattered into a million pieces and the avatar is one of them. I remember that. When he met Ulthred, hi, let's inspect some wells, Sean, Neil. Dartharus murder shagged. New one to add to my lexicon. Oh, I try so hard to keep the stream PG-13. The Serpent Queen is delighted with the silver gift and thanks you for delivering it to her. She shows you to the front door and tips you two gold pieces. I have to show you guys what my niece has got me for my birthday. She's so cute. Baby Yoda! <laughs> So I'm gonna use my Baby Yoda mug tomorrow. I might take that to work. It's gonna be very hard to drink out of, but well worth the effort. Okay, outside you set off north along Sable Street. You soon reach a junction in the street. Say Stable Street continues north and to your left. You see Tower Street heading west. You decide to keep going north. No choice here, people. What are the biscuit options tonight? I'm on the ginger nuts. Tonight we have chocolate bourbons. Thank you for asking, fat rascal. Um, 
I have got some uh, lotus biscuits somewhere, but I don't know where they've gone. Also, I had a really big Mother's Day roast today, courtesy of a friend of the family and dear pal, Dr. Tony. So I don't know if he's lurking. Sometimes he lurks in this chat, but who will not talk? But we had a really nice uh, lunch. Very, very nice. To your left, you see a large wooden barn set back from the houses. Two horses are tied to a post outside the barn and smoke rises from a crooked chimney on top of its low flat roof. If you wish to walk through the barn doors, turn to 25. If you would rather continue north, turn to 115. Thank you so much, Neil. Thank you for the map. Uh, so please type either doors or type north into the chat to let me know what you wish to do. Doors, says Callum immediately. One of the revolutionary biscuits of Italy. Tell us more, Dartharus. Aztec says, After all the excitement of the unboxing and Primark's puzzle game, fighting fantasy feels like a chilled meditation. <laughs> it so does. Doors, dutes, doors, north doors, say the chat. Door says David, people are strange. Caprice, can't leave a barn door left unexamined, can we? Let's go for the door. People are strange when you're a stranger. Hmm. You soon realise that you are in a stable when you see a large bare-chested man wearing a grubby white apron, busy at work at an open fire. He takes a red hot iron bar from the fire with his gloved hand and starts to hammer it into the shape of a horseshoe on his anvil. Sweat pours from his brow as he toils with the hammer. What would you like to do? If you would like to make conversation with the blacksmith, we can. To attack him with your sword, turn to 323. Does that say sword? Let me just check. To attack him with your sword, yep. Or leave him to his labours and continue north. So please type talk, attack or leave into the chat to see what we'll do. Garibaldi is lovely. Such a good biscuit. Very out of fashion now. Talk, says David, as does Jack, as does Callum, and Robbie and Fat Rascal. Try to converse at normal volume despite the loud <laughs> hammering. Hello, sailor, says Sean Dewey. Talk with the hunk. Hi, Sprinkles. Welcome to the chat. We must attack and claim the horseshoe, says Alexin. I'm, I'm with you all. Um, please, before we go ahead and talk to this lovely, fantastic, bare-chested man, please, could everybody make sure they've liked the stream? And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. You can also get a membership on this channel. Um, talk about the weather. You're British. We're so good at doing that at Aztec. Your peak Freen's Trotsy assortment. I have no idea what that means. Um, the blacksmith removes his gloves and wipes his hands on his apron before asking you what you want. You answer by asking if he makes anything else besides horseshoes. He replies that in his spare time, he enjoys making chainmail coats. In fact, it's become quite a profitable sideline of his, especially in a place like Port Blacksand. He tells you in great detail of the skill and labour that goes into one and finally inquires if you're interested in buying one. They are not cheap. Well, the option that you guys can't see because of my screen basically says do we want to buy a chainmail coat and we quite simply can't because they cost 20 gold and we don't have that. So we will have to leave the stables without buying a coat. There's no point placing a bookmark here because we don't have money in this location, but I do feel this could be the end of us. Hmm. Coming towards you as fast as he's able is a man in tattered rags with a ball and chain attached to his leg. He is exhausted and collapses in your arms. His face is dirty and unshaven. 
With great difficulty, he manages to speak, saying, please, cut me free. The town guards are not far behind me. I've been locked in a dungeon for two years, but managed to tunnel my way out. I was robbed and unable to pay my taxes, so Lord as you ordered I should be jailed for five years. Please, help me. Further up the street, you hear shouting voices, and then armed men come into view. If you want to cut through the man's chains with your sword, turn to 90, or to hand him over to the guards, turn to 274. I don't want to influence the chat. These, as always, are your decisions. But I will say, as well inspectors, don't we respect someone who can tunnel? I'm just saying, it's just a thought. Hit me, let me know what you want. Um, if you would like to help, please type help. If you want to hand him over to the guards, please type guards. There we go. David, it's Andy from Shawshank. <laughs> it is. It is. Poor old Andy. Although he got away in the end, thank goodness. We've got 27 people in the chat, so please do let me know, everybody, what you'd like to do. Uh, we can help or hand him over. So type help or guards in the chat. Robbie wants to hand him over. David wants to hand him over. Aleph wants to help him. Interesting. I was all for helping, says Sean, but I feel like we can't frag free a tax evader. Sprinkle says help. Neil says hand him over. Aztec says help. Okay, I'm gonna have to count. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Six people are saying guards so far. Let me see how many people are saying help. One, two, three, four, five people are saying help. Oh no, we're gonna hand him over. I don't like us in this moment. And he's dug an illegal well. <laughs> Sean, he's dug an illegal, an illegal well digger. Place a bookmark because I think you're mean. The guards are pleased that you've caught their wanted man. Ooh, they tell you he is an escaped murderer. The chief guard hands you five gold pieces saying, here's your reward, but you won't be getting another one. He won't escape again. You watch for a short while as they lead the shouting murderer away before continuing north along Stable Street. Wow. Well, I think we did good there, people. If he was a murderer, we have saved some lives today. So let us turn to page 222. On the right-hand side, the houses are separated from the street by a wooden fence with shrubs, trees, bushes and flowers behind it. There is a turnstile in the middle of the fence by the side of which is a sign reading Public Gardens, entry fee, one gold piece. If you wish to go into the gardens, type gardens if you would rather keep on walking please type walking in the chat and just to say i would really love to go into the gardens they have shrubs trees bushes and flowers so let me know what you want to do people bear in mind alex and i are extreme horticulture lovers it's what we do david and robbie and callum say gardens yay amazing so happy for that. There are 25 of us in the chat at the moment. Welcome everybody. Welcome noobs. Caprice says gardens. Ho! <laughs> thunder, 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 cats. Alexin says gardens. As does Neil. As does Fat Rascal who loves a walk. Sean says gardens and look for frogs. Alex says yeah, has to be gardens. I feel like five gold is a pretty paltry reward for capturing a murderer. Let's go smell the flowers, says Dartharus. I agree. Like, should it be a 500 gold award? Sprinkle says, let's get horticultural. Neil says, oh, lotus flowers. And Aztec says, gardens are nice. Let's go, go, go. Oh, nice image. Do not pick flowers. Uh-oh, I think we might be breaking the law here. Yes, Capri says, good call, Neil, eyes on the prize. Robbie says, my prunus is finally in flower. Spring has sprung, amazing. Thank you so much, Robbie, for bringing flowers into the chat. We place the coin in the slot and walk through the turnstile. Although the flowers and shrubs are not outstanding, 
you are nevertheless surprised that such a place exists in Port Blacksand. The gardens are not very large, extending back some 60 metres to where some houses back onto them. There are two paths to follow, one of which runs around the edge of the gardens and one that leads directly into the centre where there is some topiary. Each shrub has been cut into the shape of an animal and you decide to take a closer look. The path leads into a small paved area surrounded by the animal's shaped shrubs. In the middle, there is a stone plinth among a, oh, a stone plinth upon which sits a large ah oh, upon which sits a large earthen bowl containing lotus flowers. There is a painted sign which reads, "Do not pick the flowers." The gardener is nowhere to be seen, and there is no one else about. Yes, fat rascal, we do need a flower. We need a black lotus. It doesn't say what colour the lotuses are, but it does say lotus flowers. Oh, maybe we just need lotus flowers. Um, so if everyone could write into the chat, pick if they want to pick the flower or leave if they'd like to leave, please do so now. Thank you so much. Let's see. There's a tiny bit of lag between me and you. So that's why we're having these moments of silence. Caprice smells like a trap, but we have to try, right? I think so, Caprice. Pick the flower, say Robbie and David. Do it, do it. We love flowers. We need flowers. Aleph says leave. Sprinkle says risk it for a biscuit. Pick the flower. Sean says pick. Alexin says leave. That's just two people saying leave. We have 30 people in the chat. Fat Rascal says pick. That's quite a lot of people saying to pick. Sprinkle says pick. Sprinkles, you already said something and then retracted it. Alan Redmond says leave. Thank you, whoever provided my membership. Alan, welcome to the membership level. Who did do that? I have to scroll up. But I believe, I don't know if it was in this session or another session. But you're so welcome, Alan Redmond. Darthus, bet we'll be fighting animated topiary. Pick them anyway. Well, I think that's quite a few of us, 30 of us. And many of us would like to pick a flower. So let us pick. Oh, Lord. As soon as you pluck one of the flowers, you hear the noise of rustling leaves. Three of the animal-shaped hedges have uprooted themselves and are closing in on you. Do you have a ring of fire? We do not. So we must turn to 191. You draw your sword to defend yourself against the advancing leaf beasts. They all attack at once, seemingly trying to crush and smother you. Shout out to whoever predicted this happening. Let's fight. Okay, do I have another setup so you can all see the fighting? Let's do this. Okay, hopefully that should work. You must fight! Love the fight music. It's a draw, you both miss. In the flavour, Lord Azure it kills criminals by feeding them to the Lord Leaf Beast. Oh! We need Johnny Cash. We do. Burn, burn, burn. The Ring of Fire. Pretty evenly matched so far. Two draws. Let's go. Oh, that's beautiful. A 17 to their 11. You hit the Leaf Beasts. Come along. Yes. And again, you hit the leaf beasts. One more. Oh, they, the leaf beasts hit us. Two stamina down. Come on, let's finish this. Oof, the leaf beasts hit us again. Jesus. They are doing, they're quite good. <laughs> Another draw. Oh, come on. We're down to 11 stamina, but they are down to two. Oh, we are rolling horrifically badly. We are down to nine stamina. Come on, surely. 16 to eight. Yes. 
you are triumphant. Hurrah, but at what cost? If you win, turn to 133. Let's do so. The things that were once leaf beasts now merely resemble the products of an autumn afternoon's raking. You run back to the turnstile, still clutching the lotus, and make your getaway into Stable Street. The street ends at a junction with Mill Street, which runs east and west along the city wall. Looking east, you see a group of town guards marching towards you, and you decide to walk quickly west along Mill Street. To your left, you see a narrow lane, and you see a young lad coming towards you, pushing a barrow laden with fruit. If you wish to walk down the lane, you may do so. Please type lane in the chat. If you wish to buy some fruit, please write fruit in the chat. And I agree, yes, we will do David Wharton positioning bookmark and eating provisions. We've only got three provisions left. That's because of our low skill, isn't it? Hi, Heartless. Well met by midnight. Welcome to the birthday stream. Gardening's dangerous, says Callum. Indeed it is. Fruit, if we don't have anything to eat already. Good shout. Yay. Hello, Alexandra Belange. Welcome. Nom noms. <laughs> fruit, lane, fruit, fruit, fruit. Fruit. How much gold do you have, says Sprinkles? That's a very personal question. We have 26 pieces of gold. Fruit. Fruit seems very popular and there are 28 of us in the chat. Thank you, Heartless Ninny. It was my birthday yesterday and we are celebrating. We have the lucky candle on the go, which was originally a rainbow, but now it's kind of like limited blues, purple, and then a lot of white at the bottom. But it's a really pretty blue. I love it. Yay. Good fortune and all that. Okie dokie. So Alex says fruit and Sprinkle says fruit. So let's buy some fruit. The boy puts down his barrow and asks what you would like to buy. He recommends his plums as being particularly refreshing. If you wish to pay one gold for a bag of plums, please type plums in the chat. If you wish to buy a bag of red apples, type apple in the chat. If you have no gold or wish to continue your journey, we can also type leave in the chat. Um, but yes, what will we do? I'll pop this back over here. What will we do? Well, you decide. There are 28 of us in the chat that decide today what we do do. I would like to buy both if we could. It's only one each. Do we need any fruit? What does our knowledge say? Mm. Plums ahoy! Indeed. Apples, apples, plums. People aren't as fussed about the apple decision, are they? We've only got a few people. Oh, I'm not reading that one out. I do try so hard to keep this PG-13. I'd go with the apples. I don't trust this kid, says Heartless. Plum, says David. Any more for any more. Let's start counting. Apples, apples. Three for apples. One, two, three, four, five, six for plums. I don't know if I counted that correctly. One, two, three, four apples. Yep. I, I swear it's impossible to buy stone fruit that's actually ripe. Maybe in Magic Land. I agree, Darthus. Well, it looks like Plum has one. Oh, the plums are juicy and taste delicious. The plums are sweet and juicy and taste delicious. You gain one stamina point, you wipe your mouth with the back of your hand and you continue west. Good for us. Walking towards you along the street are two huge guards wearing the black uniform of Lord Azure. As they get closer, you see that they are trolls, brutal mercenaries employed by Lord Azure as elite imperial guards. 
To your right, there is a tree which reaches almost to the top of the city wall. If you wish to risk walking past the trolls, please type troll in the chat. If you want to climb a tree in order to get over the wall, please type tree in the chat. So the choices are tree or troll. Fruit is a trap, says David, as if you eat it, guards meet you before you can get the tattoo. Is that a spoiler, David? Interesting. Interesting. Climb, says Caprice. Could be we spot something from up there. Alexandre says tree, as does Sprinkles. As does Robbie and Dartharus. As does Neil. 27 of us in the chat. And a few of us are saying a tree. Yes, it is a spoiler. It's the reveal of a situation I did not have knowledge of previously. Ergo, it's a spoiler. We lose the option to go down the lane by stopping to get the fruit. Flippin' egg. Well, maybe we've ruined the game. Hopefully we've done a bookmark. I'm sure we've done a bookmark. Tree, tree, tree. Those guards look like bad news, says Heartless. I agree. Let's climb the tree. Is the Lord the one that whipped us from the carriage, says Sean. Ah, so that locks us out, says Caprice. Well, now I'm at a quandary. Do we stop and go back? Or do we continue on? Are we locked out to the point of not being able to win, is my question. What do we think, people? It's not really a spoiler as I waited till the decision was made. That's why I recommended a bookmark. Thank you for your foresight, DW. Um, what, do you what do we reckon, people? Shall we go back? Or shall we go forth and then maybe have to come back to this point? What do we believe we should do? Press on. Press on. As a former sayer of spoilers, I feel on a bound to kill it out like a jerk. I would suggest going by the bookmark, says Callum. I'm tempted. I'm very tempted. I'm the jerk in this scenario. I feel like a jerk too, David. I know you're trying to protect us. You're trying to protect the family of adventurers that we are. I vote we go forth, but we come back as necessary. David, we are locked out of the win. I want to go back then. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's walk down the lane. Wow, executive decisioning there. Who's this guy? Ah, oh, it's a tattoo art artist. Bookmark, Goran Fruit Traps. Yes, yes, Firefly swear words. The lane ends at a small shop. On the glass pan paint door is a sign, Jimmy Quick Tint, best tattooist in town. A tiny bell rings as you push the door open, and a fat man wearing purple silk smiles in greeting. You're surprised to see that his ha arms, hands, feet, and even face, his face are completely covered in colorful tattoos. He grins and says, practice what you preach. You tell him that you require a yellow sun to be tattooed on your forehead, with a white unicorn in the centre of it. He replies that this is a simple task, but it will cost you 10 gold pieces. If you can afford this, we can, yay! It's your birthday, you can do what you want, says Robbie. Let's get a unicorn tattoo on my birthday. Ooh, we've just got a little, um, when I clicked on that, we got an achievement for getting this from Steam. Heartless says, you know that fruit kid is why I couldn't beat this as a youngster. I didn't realise. Oh, bless you, Heartless. Oh, bless your cut and socks. He takes the money and motions for you to sit down on a wooden stool. After a long and painful process of repeatedly pricking your forehead with a sharp needle, he applies the indelible inks. You look in the mirror and find your new appearance somewhat strange. You shrug your shoulders and leave the shop. You then walk back up the lane and turn left into Mill Street. 
I wonder if anyone has actually got this fighting fantasy tattoo. Can you imagine? So let's look on our list. I think we're doing really well. We've got the tattoo. We've got some black pearls. I don't know if we've got any hag hair. We have, and we've got the silver arrow. And we've got this unicorn sun tattoo. And we've got the lotus flower. So we just need to grind up those pearls. Yes, heartless. No one can claim we're not committed to this cause. We've even stopped talking about wells to try and make this work. Hello, what I like. Mira, how far are you in the Gaunt's ghost books? I'm trying to read along with you. I am up to Sabbat Martyr, I think, or the one after that. I have, there are four books in the Sabbat series and I've read three of those. Neil, I wonder how many other adventurers tried to kill Zan Barbone previously and came to this tattooist. He probably rolls his eyes every time an adventurer comes in. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> We've got everything on the list, says David. Hurrah! Now we are back to the two trolls. And we had our options, didn't we? To walk past the trolls or climb the tree. And I believe we said we'd climb the tree. So let's climb the tree. Oh my god. This is not good. The trolls see what you're doing and run towards the tree. You're forced to leave your shield behind as you quicken pace. You lose one skill point. We cannot really afford to lose any skill points. After climbing quickly up the tree, you realize you must jump a distance of two meters between the branch and the top of the wall. If you're wearing a chainmail coat, you will have to take it off in order to jump safely across the wall. Well, thank God we didn't spend 20 gold pieces on that chainmail coat. Below, you see the two trolls running around the tree, waving their swords at you. There is no alternative but to jump. Okay. It's a close shave, but you just manage to grip the edge of the wall with your fingertips. You pull yourself up and climb onto a stone walkway along the top of a city wall. On either side of you are stone towers rising above the battlements, spaced some hundred meters apart. There are doors in the towers, both of which are suddenly flung open as more guards run out to capture you. There is a 20 meter drop on the other side of the wall. You need to act fast. If you wish to risk the 20 meter drop and jump to freedom, type drop in the chat, please. If you possess a climbing rope, you could affix it to the wall and rappel down. Turn to 108. <laughs> or if you want to stay and face the oncoming guards, turn to 56. Okay, so I am now just catching up with the chat in which Callum has says bookmark, then walk past them. Dartharus, who says, wait, wait, why did we climb the tree? We have the tattoo now. And Neil says, fat nose and sour belly. Crikey. Well, I'm sorry if I've missed something there. I assume we would just go for the same choice. I apologise. Sorry to everybody in the chat. There are 25 of us and I apologise to each one of us. There are five people in the chat. Dave, Neil, Robbie, Sean and Heartless saying, rope. Five out of 25, that's not too bad for five to 10 on a Sunday night. Let's use that climbing rope. You lower yourself to the ground. Oh my gosh, is this end game? Above you, the guards are waving their fists at you from the battlements. You are now outside Port Black Sand. Do you have all the necessary items required to slay the Night Prince? The unicorn sun tattoo, a silver arrow, lotus flower, hag's hair, and a black pearl. If you have everything you need, turn to 201. <gasps> oh gosh, you guys. Following Nicodemus' map, you start your long walk north to the guarded tower of Zanbar Bone, the Night Prince. You walk through woods and fields. You are able to relax a little in the pleasant countryside and breathe the fresh air with its wonderful scents. As the light fades, you decide to camp under a huge elm tree. You cook a meal of stewed rabbit and mushrooms before settling down to a long, deep sleep. You awake feeling refreshed and gain two stamina points. You begin searching for a yew tree. Eventually, you find one and cut a long branch from it. You spend the next few hours crafting a bow to fire the silver arrow. 
As you test the bow for accuracy, you are suddenly aware of a white dove sitting on a low branch nearby. There is a small piece of paper attached to its foot, which it lets you remove before flying off. There is a message on the paper which reads, Dear friend, I am afraid I must be getting too old to be used to anybody. I regret that I have misinformed you about the compound needed to kill Zanbarbone. You must only use two of the three ingredients I spoke of, but I cannot remember which two. Oh, do. I can only suggest you try hag's hair and black pearls together, or hag's hair and lotus flower together, or the black pearls and lotus flower together. Apologies, good luck, N. <laughs> you throw your message on the ground in frustration. You change your mind a dozen times before making your decision. Finally, you make your choice and grind the two ingredients together on a flat stone. You place your compound in the leather pouch, hoping you've made the correct decision. You set off again, but it's not long before your surroundings become less welcoming. The trees are twisted or stunted, and there are no birds to be heard. You must be approaching the domain of the Night Prince! Suddenly to your left you hear rustling and grunting in the bushes. It is a wandering monster which has been attracted by your scent. Well, everybody. Well, 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 inspectors. What a time to be alive. It looks like the next time we meet, we will be taking on Zanbarbo. And we will be in Endgame, which will potentially leave enough time for us to do some puzzles. And for me to find three AA batteries and fix the Zippo lighter. I was there. The day Horus slew the Emperor. And the day that Mira and her streaming friends finished the puzzle. I know, what a cliffhanger. Like a proper streamer and everything. So, wow, I really, really, really appreciate you all being here. Uh, it has been not the nicest of birthdays because I'm feeling stressed and scared and worried, but this part has been something I've been looking forward to for the whole weekend since my birthday morning on Saturday morning. And I'm so, so grateful. So many of us are here playing together. Um, yeah. I keep feeling I'm going to be okay and then stuff happens and I realise the call is coming from inside the house. You are an anxious human, so make the most of your beloved friends. Uh, we missed you too, Heartless. Um, and David, I agree, our stats are horrible. I'm sure that skill is going to come and bite us in the ass when we fight Zambar. Um, it is amazing we've got this far. We haven't even cheated that badly, so well done, all of us. Um, thank you, TP Caitlin. Lovely to have you in the chat. I definitely think this is one of the best City of Thieves books. Jen, I was there any doubt you were a proper streamer? Oh, Jen, no problem. You can lurk as long as you like. Today, because we had two cameras and we did a puzzle, I feel like a proper streamer. But I want to say thank you to everybody that has donated to my birthday stream. Yes, uh, I'm so lucky to have you all. Um, I'll keep trying to improve the channel. Alexin says, make sure you do some self-care before bed. I was going to try and do some meditation and read a nice book that is not a, <laughs> that's not a Warhammer book before bed. Dartharus, need to get my own Zippo with, I was there the day Mira broke the lighter. Um, I don't know if Jim is planning to do stuff on his own YouTube, but he is on Twitter and he is uh, on YouTube as JimL85, I believe. Um, I always try and tag him in the descriptions of my video. Um, so please, yeah, extend some love to the amazing Historicus Jim who put this all together. Thank you everybody for helping me um, create my Primark quiz. And I think Jim and I should probably potentially see if we can do a Kickstarter, although Games Workshop would sue our asses. Um, yes, mindful, this is a great idea. Thank you, Fat Rascal. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I hope you all have a really lovely week. Let's just pray it goes 
softly and slowly for all of us. No, a nice normal length week, but just let it be soft and gentle. And thank you so much. Have a lovely, lovely evening. The quiz board is amazing. Um, happy birthday to me. Thank you, Somicron. Thanks, Callum. Thank you, everybody who's contributed, and I hope you all have an amazing week yourselves. Yay! Oh, I hate saying goodbye. But I will stop the stream now and hopefully see you all next week. Love to everybody. Thank you so much, everybody who did all those amazing fan funding. Robbie, you did 50 squid. Neil, thank you for the memberships. Somicron, thank you for the 50. Alex, thank you for the 20. Aleph, thank you for the 50. And Neil, thank you for the 20. Thank you so, so, so much. And all different uh, currencies because we're all around the world. Um, yeah, I hope everybody has Moomins and Unicorns galore. Uh, so thank you so, so much. Uh, thank you so much, Jim. Uh, please, Jim, drop me a message with anything I need to do before the quiz. And yeah, good night. I love you all. Bisous. Au revoir. A bientôt. Good night.